You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. Today I have a package, and this is a package from Tactile Turn. So thank you, Will, and the team at Tactile Turn for sending this out for me to show off to folks. This is going to be the Tactile Turn's new seasonal uh, pen, the Nautilus. Get in here. My trusty Kershaw leak. Very nice little assisted open knife. Dig it. Uh, let's see, we got here, aha, the Nautilus card. All of these seasonal releases come with their own little card that explains a little something about uh, the Nautilus, or, you know, in other cases, the uh, the, uh, the Safety First and the uh, the Overlander. Let me grab those. Uh, so I have the, uh, the Safety First and here the Overlander, which actually came in like a little plastic sleeve. These other two did not. Uh, but uh, there we go. So we've got the uh, Safety First, the Overlander, and the Nautilus, and each of these is inscribed with the symbol or the uh, texture that is on the clip. So you can see the Safety First has this little little safety symbol. The Overlander has this very cool, uh, like, kind of tire tread pattern here on the clip, which I really dig. And uh, the Nautilus is going to have this little uh, this little anchor. So let's get in here. Nice, nice. Scooch those over here. All right, so this is the Tactile Turn box that this comes in. Nautilus uh, SCS. I wonder if that's uh, for seasonal something. I don't actually know. SCS, anyway. These are available until September. They are, uh, they are a limited release pen, although not exactly a limited edition. Like, you can order it for any time during the uh, couple of months that they have that up there, and you will get one. It's not as if you have to rush, uh, but these will only be available until September 8th. Actually, I really like this. This is a really nicely done uh, foam insert. Not a whole lot of extra packaging or anything. Just a cardboard sleeve. Nice uh, sturdy cardboard sleeve. And uh, it's very like nice dense foam with a kind of perfect cutout. That's really good. <laughs> all right. This will probably fit all these uh, all these pens. So let me see here. Yeah, so these are different sizes. This is the standard size, which is 5.8 inches long and takes all kinds of... Um, uh, longer gel refills like your uh, your standard Pilot G2s or your uh, what do I have in here? I've got a I've got a Pilot Juice refill in here. I like those a little bit better, but uh, works really well in there. But this is the standard, and I think the standard is actually a little bit long for me. It just tends to be a little bit maybe back heavy. I don't know. I uh, I just kind of like I kind of like the short size better. So my Overlander is in short, and these take all kinds of Parker style refills and the refills that you find in like you know other manufactured pens that are uh, roller balls or ball points. This kind of uh, uh, Schmidt Easy Flow 9000, all sorts of those kinds of things will fit in these pens. And those are some great refills. I actually really like this Schmidt refill that I have in here, as so I haven't put my favorite Jetstream refill in it or anything, but you totally can. So here's the Nautilus. And this is, as everybody keeps telling me, way better looking in person than in pictures. I hope the video can do it a bit of justice. Let me get some of this other stuff out of the, out of the way here. But, uh, man, look at that. Look at that finish! So I think I got gold in the blue. This is uh, meant to be sort of a nautical theme. You've got sea, you've got some, I don't know, gold bullion or maybe some sand going on here. But that is, that is beautiful. So a thing that to know about these is they can be a little bit, like you can hear a, like a little bit of a grind there on the, uh, on the, on the knock, but that's just a little bit of Cerakote that wears down just a bit. It's a little bit rough when it starts out uh, on these smooth parts, and then that wears down after you just after you fidget with it for a while. That'll totally be fine, and it will to and it will go away. So don't worry about that if it does that out of the box. Just use your pen as normal, and it'll work great. So these are the side click style. Man, I really like this. This is gorgeous. Thank you very much for sending this out, Will and Tactile Terran. Because whoo, I mean, I, I was gonna buy it anyway, but this is so good looking. So look at this. Great gold sheen. It's a little bit like iridescent even in here. I'm not sure what it's going to look like in sunlight, but I imagine it'll be even cooler. But that's neat. I've never seen a Cerakote process like that, so that's pretty darn good. These side click versions, uh, you click like this to extend the point, and then you uh, hit this little button, snap, to pop it back out. And this is, uh, this is the design that Will got interested in because he found this boxy pen from Mitsubishi, uh, which I also really like. It's kind of a little small flat pen with a, this side click action. The other one that Will and Tactile Turn make is the, uh, 
uh, is, is this one, which is a sort of a bolt action. And I think this is a great bolt action. Instead of having like a, a sharp ch -ch off to the side, which is kind of a little bit awkward sometimes, this has a really nice sweep. It's kind of like a kind of like a backwards J or something, but very nice sweep. You can't do these with a Cerakote though because it wears weirdly and it doesn't just doesn't work out very well. So uh, you know, it's totally fine that he went to the side click because I think I like the side click a little bit better. I don't have a huge preference, but uh, but I do like the side click lo quite a lot. So let's go ahead and uh, do a little bit of writing right quick. Oh, this is this week's. Let's go up it here. Uh, See, so yeah, I'll put this on my schedule. Uh, YouTube Live. There we go. No problem at all. These uh, these Schmidt refills, these Easy Flow 9000s, are quite nice. You got a nice little O-ring down there at the base of the uh, the nose cone. Nice, nice thick material. These are Cerakoted titanium. And they have a good weight to them. Not too heavy, not too light. Really, really nice stuff. I tell you, Tactile Turn makes some real nice pens. Some good fountain pens, too. I really like the gist. It's a good pen. Anyway, go check this out on their website at tactileturn.com. Uh, you can find all the information about the Nautilus there. There is also a mini version of this pen. So you have the standard... You have the standard... And you have the uh, the short, which is what I tend to go for. And then there's a mini size, which uh, I was <laughs> I was measuring around, and it's meant for the uh, the this the short G2, which is like the the mini pen, and uh, it's 4.6 inches long, which it turns out is uh, pretty much exactly the same size as a clicked uh, as a clicked Tombow air press. So it's like this size. I don't have the, uh, the mini version of the pen, so I can't, I can't show it to you. I don't have one of those, but, uh, yeah, it's the same size as this air press. I uh, used to imagine a little bit thinner and a little bit more refined, not as, not as grungy as the, the white rubbery texture on here, but that's still a perfectly good size to hold, I think, for a click pen. I may have to get one of those just to, like, round out the collection one of these days, so I'll have all three to show, but... Uh, it's about this size, and with my size hands, this is a totally fine size, if a little bit small. So if you're looking for a pocket pen size thing, this would be good for that side click size uh, in the mini. So so there you go. There's the... Put this one over here, too. Just have the whole family. Let's put them in a row. Because, hey, why not? There we have it. Safety first, Overlander, Nautilus. I cannot wait to see what they do next. Uh, this has been the summer release. I imagine there's going to be a fall one in uh, in a few months. So go check this out. And uh, tell them I sent you. These go for 149 bucks. They're a bit more expensive than the standard version, but with all this Cerakote and stuff on it, I think totally worth it. And uh, this one I've had since last December, and you can see it's got, you know, it has weathered it very well. Now, I'm not throwing this against rocks or whatever. You can damage Cerakote. Uh, it is not impervious, but it's pretty darn tough. You throw these in pocket, you don't got to worry about it. It'll be okay. So, there you have it. See y'all later. Peace out.